We've got a new poll in Texas. It's October 22nd, 2024, and these are your headlines. That's right, a new poll released by the University of Texas and the Texas Politics Project shows, surprise, Republicans at the top of the ballot are leading their Democrat opponents in Texas. Both former President Donald Trump and Senator Ted Cruz are up in the polls among Texas voters. The poll was conducted between October 2nd and October 10th and interviewed 1,200 registered voters. The margin of error was 2.38%. Now, Trump and his running mate J.D. Vance currently hold a five-point lead, 51 to 46, over Vice President Kamala Harris and her vice presidential candidate, Tim Walls. Among registered voters, 51% said they would vote for Ted Cruz, 44% say they preferred his challenger, Colin Allred. Registered voters said they had a 48% favorability rating for Trump and a 45% favorability rating for Cruz. By comparison, Harris earned 43% favorability, Allred had 38%. And when it comes to the top issues, voters said the biggest issues were inflation and rising prices. 16% said the economy, 13% said immigration. Voters also said the most important problem facing Texas is immigration at 17%. Others said border security and inflation. 9% said political corruption and leadership. Early voting, of course, is ongoing now through November 1st, and Election Day is Tuesday, November 5th. According to the Attorney General's Office, foreign entities can dump donations into American politics with trivial ease using Act Blue, a Democrat fundraising platform. Now, this loophole was discovered after an undercover investigation in the run-up to the 2024 election. That was by the O'Keefe Media Group, which released a report in 2023 suggesting that donations made on the ActBlue platform were being misattributed to random straw men. And the Attorney General's office announced it had independently corroborated those allegations. The office opened its investigation in December of 2023 and found that donations were being made with false identities through untraceable payment methods. And this could include donations by foreign entities and individuals exceeding their contribution limits. The Paxson's office is now petitioning the Federal Election Commission to implement regulations to close fundraising loopholes found during their investigation. According to Paxton, left unchecked, the activities uncovered during the investigation reveal an actual jeopardization of American election integrity. That's according to Paxton's release. What are the important things out there in Texas politics and Texas news that matter to you and what can you do about it? That's what we want to bring you with the Luke Messia show on a weekly basis for 20 to 30 minutes. That way you can get the information and go do something for the rest of your week. I look forward to coming to you every Wednesday. Foreign nationals from the Middle East and Africa have been discovered entering Texas, along with a large group of other illegal aliens. That entire group consisted recently of 134 illegals. The Texas Department of Public Safety troopers encountered them in Maverick County. Seven were identified as having come from Iran and Angola, resulting in their classification as, something we've talked about a few times on here, special interest aliens, which are individuals who the Department of Homeland Security has identified as potentially posing a national security risk to the United States. Countries or points of origin, travel patterns, and potential connections to terrorist groups are examined when determining who is and who is not a special interest alien. Texas has been listed as one of 29 states with known terrorist cases. Last week, another group of 22 special interest aliens were apprehended in Maverick County by DPS. For more of today's stories, go to texasscorecard.com.